Good morning fellow 3D printers. This is the Prusa Mark 3S. I'm going to be changing the, the nozzle on it today, which is that little thing there. And it's giving people a lot of problems. It's very easy to do. What we're going to do now, we'll extrude the filament that's in there now, get it up to about 200 odd degrees and I've set it up to uh, PLA so I'll heat it up now I'll turn the machine on I'm going to preheat to PLA these are the tools we're going to be using today it's a 16mm open end spanner, a 7mm open end spanner, and a little wrench that I've got, um, which is a 7mm, which actually fits it really well. It's uh, fitting the nozzles, it does fit the nozzle really nice and tight. So, those are the full tools oh, and, the, and the little X bar. So we're going to use them today. We had to remove the uh, fan, this one bolt here out the fan, and these these two of the cooling fan. Hang that down there, that'll be okay. Now we do this one. This is just releasing the, the guard. It's a bit squeaky. Oops, I just dropped it. You can you can leave that, that screw in there. Just watch you don't lose that little one there. Um because it drops inside there. When you reassemble, it just drops inside there. Can you see there? Yeah. Now this is the delicate part. Don't forget this this hot end is hot. I've unloaded the filament. What we're going to do now is just under there, this cable. You don't want to knock that cable, you don't want to break that cable, you don't want to break these cables here. So, what I do is going with the 16mm spanner over the top of there, if we can, or, or, or down the bottom. This is a fiddly old job. And then we can start to undo it. I think it's coming up. Yeah. see how it's blocked up that's very very don't forget this is hot so put it down somewhere where it's not going to melt anything or I'm going to put it over this on a bit of paper yeah because that's 200 odd degrees now, we've got our new one just sent off I sent off to Prusa and got the new nozzle uh, 0 0.4 
So we'll carefully wind that back in. That's it. It's not a hard job. What people do, they get these big spanners on there and big wrenches on there. And the last thing you want to do is break this because you've got to go and get it repaired or you've got to send off for a new hot end when nobody wants to do that. So back on with the spanner. I'll just use it first, just nip it up with my fingers with the, the wrench there. Nip it up. That's it. Just realign the other end because it has moved a little bit. Just be careful, just, just tweak it around a little bit so it's nice and straight. Head on. Right, nice us in replaced. Couldn't be any more simpler than that, could it? I get it back in focus. Yeah, I did. I did forget to say that we clean, clean around there as well uh, before you put your new nozzle back in, and just make sure. Is nice and nice and tight. Good work of doing this with. Uh, yeah, that's nice and tight now. Yep. And then all we do is just. I would wait. I would wait for it to cool down before you fit your um, your plastic pieces back on, because you're bound to touch the hot end when it's still hot. So, I'd, yeah, I'd give it a, a, a ten or fifteen minutes for it to cool down. But basically, that's it. Um, it's only two parts you've got to put back on, and just don't don't forget to. Uh, so I have, I have dropped that little that little nut. It's these. We've got spare ones anyway if you built the kit. But that, that little nut there goes inside. This goes inside there. You just slide it in and then just hold that up. But I don't want to touch it yet because it's too hot. So yeah, that's basically it. Anyway, YouTubers, yep. Yeah. Um, YouTubers and fellow printers, that's your Prusa i3S with a new nozzling. Um, happy printing. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye.